KSBY News reporter Alexa Bertola joins us live from the Public Health Department in San Luis Obispo with what you need to know. Alexa? Kathy and Richard, if you're in need of the shingles vaccine, there's a wait list you can be put on here at the Public Health Department. Now, health officials say the shortage has to do with a major increase in demand. This is a support group with, for women with either Epstein-Marr shingles or Lyme or lupus. So that one serves dual purpose for me. Nancy Hoyt has lupus, and this year she was diagnosed with the shingles not once, but twice. The shingles is very painful, it's debilitating. If you've had chicken pox, you can get the shingles. The virus that causes chicken pox stays in your nervous system and can reemerge, causing the shingles rash. It's a searing nerve pain that does not relent, doesn't quit. After that bout, she tried to get vaccinated. They said there's a nationwide shortage. Hoyt got the shingles again a few months later in the midst of trying to get vaccinated along with her boyfriend. We've been trying for seven months to get vaccines. And if there's a vaccine out there, it should be widely available to everybody. Why do I have to go through shingles twice? in hopes I don't get it a third time on waiting for a vaccine. Dr. Penny Bornstein of Slow County Public Health says since the vaccine came out less than a year ago, there hasn't been enough in the pipeline. It's now being recommended for people age 50 and up, whereas the other one was age 60 and up, so that expands the population. Shingrix is considered to be more effective than the previous vaccine. More people have also had the shingles in recent years. Dr. Bornstein says there's no word on when enough of the vaccine will be available. I've been doing it every couple of weeks, checking in, and they either I've missed them maybe, or maybe they just never got it. And I reached out to the company who manufactures the vaccine, but I have not yet heard back. Live and local in San Luis Obispo, Alexa Bertola, KSBY News. Thank you, Alexa. And health officials say one in three people will get shingles in their lifetime, but that number is expected to dip in the years to come because more children are vaccinated against chickenpox.